Hi, this is Maginoni, and um, I thought I'd do a little bit different video today because with the Kindle Fire, uh, there's going to be more attention to digital, and it's not just because of the Fire. Keep in mind, it's you know you have the big push with DC and Marvel with their um, digital comics, same day releases, but with the Fire being at two hundred dollars, it's a lot more appealing in, in terms of price for people to buy. Now, one thing I'll say is the uh, seven-inch screen isn't that bad. Uh, it's it's anything smaller it would be bad um, it's just enough now um, the one thing that was kind of surprising is for being as small as this is it's actually a little bit on the heavy side but you know for me it's not a big deal but if I can understand if you know there's grandmother with she's reading War and Peace or something like that or some Harlequin romance novel her hand might get a little tired now the first thing that I did was I downloaded the Marvel free comic. Uh, that was the Ultimate Spider-Man number one. And it failed. The whole thing was just a complete waste of my time. While I believe I got the comic, the problem is I can't view it. The reason is you get you have to download the Marvel viewing app. That's you know supposedly available through Android devices. But the thing doesn't when you go to download it, it doesn't connect to the Amazon store. Because of that, you can't view the book. Uh, I believe it's available through Google. I haven't bothered to look because um, it was such a waste of my time. I'm not going to support that nonsense. I want something easy, and, and that was not easy. It provided me much headache. So what I decided to do was I went to Comixology. And um, I found this site, or this app, I should say, really easy to use and very, very um, informative. So I have it right here. So you click that, and as you can see up here, you have featured books, and you have my comics. So there's a button up here for my comics. If you click my comics, it just oops, accidentally clicked the wrong thing. Here we go. My comics. It displays the books that you have in there. And let's go back here. Now. Up here is like the featured brand new books. Like as you can see, there's Captain America, there's the DC relaunch, Walking Dead, uh, starts starting points. And as you scroll down here, these are newer books right here because you can see there's Batman, uh, the Amazing, the new Amazing Spider-Man, the new Justice League. Uh, scrolling down even further, they go. This is new and new. Uh, noteworthy and that's from like the 11, 11, 11 through 1116 um, keep scrolling through it you have more recent stuff that's going back farther uh, then we get to the trades then we go to the um, brightest night brightest day nonsense um, this is what I thought was actually kind of good was they had a section just for ultimate books now the brightest day Darkest Night is actually, and even though I make fun of it every now and then, it's actually um, really nice that they decided to uh, just put that off in its own section. Uh, they also had a section for kids, and then there's another one for like crime books, which is good because I might get go back and get the Ed Brugger Baker ones. But let's see, what I'm looking for is for the free ones down here. Now, also on the bottom, there's free, top rated, and story arcs. So let's go to free. Okay, now even though these are free comics, most likely they're not going to be complete books, um, meaning you're only going to get probably about 10 pages. Um, now, let's see which one. Let's do Fathom, because I know you guys like TNA books. Now, as you can see up here, you have the cover over here, and then there's the um, uh, writing, like who wrote it, who illustrated it. Um, that kind of information. There's a story summary down here, and it gives you some sample pages and more credits. So let's say you go, you know, this Fathom, that's an awesome book. So let's go ahead and buy it. Now, normally it would tell you what it's like, two ninety nine, three ninety nine, or if it's on sale, whatever, how much that is. So you just click that button, and it starts to download. Now this, I believe, now this is thirteen pages, so it's not going to be complete. Well, I don't know if it's a complete book or not, considering books are usually around, what, 26, 30 with ads and stuff. So at least this gives you an idea of how fast it goes. See, and it's already done. Now, 
one thing I noticed was when you make the purchase, it goes through your Amazon account, and um, that's how it's billed. So, uh, click Read Now, and as you can see, the book appears here, so you just click it, and here's the cover. And you just scroll through it to see the pictures, I should say the pages. And let's say for an example, now that, I know it's a little bit difficult for you guys to tell based on, you know, since you're watching it on video, but let's just assume you, you can't see very well. So you can just do this, and then you get like a much, like a close up of it. And then you can shrink it down. Now, overall, I mean, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I don't I don't think I'm gonna go and start doing um, a total conversion where it's like everything's just gonna be bought digitally, you know, because I still want to support the local stores since without the local stores, you know, that they're an important part of comics, you know, at least the whole experience. But what I think I might do is for um, the um, digital books, I think I'm going to buy things like um, anything that's on sale. Like I might buy a trade that's on sale if, if I'm going to go on a trip or something like that. Especially if it's a trade that I don't really want to have, like a, a hard copy of. But it's like maybe something that's kind of like, you know, like an iffy book. You know, I'll definitely do previews uh, so that way I can see what those things are like. Because like DC puts out a lot of preview books. Um, but overall, like I said, I mean, it's um, I'm pretty happy with it. It's um, it was actually it actually kind of surprised me. I didn't think it was gonna be that good of a service. Uh, also, I did. I was curious about Mudman, but I didn't want to, at the time I didn't buy it, so I did buy Mudman. But I still haven't read it. I thought, like, the art was pretty cool, though. You know, it kind of almost reminded me of um, a little bit of Invincible, but not, okay, like an Invincible Chew type style. You know, Invincible's a lot cleaner, but it's just the way that some of the character designs are. Oh, oh, what's that other one? It's, there's another one that that English comic. Not that English comic, but the English superhero, Captain Jack, or something like that. Jack Staff, that's what I'm thinking of. But, overall, I mean, it's it's pretty cool. The one, oh, one drawback, which I haven't figured out yet, is, let's say, for an example, you get towards the end of the book, and then you want to reread it. It, um, oh, there we go. Browse pages. I didn't see that before. Yeah, before, I, when I saw it, you had to go all the way, slide all the way back, but now that I see browse pages, then that, that makes things, like, a lot easier. Um, under settings, you can do animate transitions, there's letterboxing, show page on enter, show page on exit. So, anyways, that's what the Kindle Fire, what it looks, comics looks like. Um, overall, I mean, like, it's not... It's, pretty good you got Netflix and Hulu and um, but but the thing is you really need to have this thing on Wi-Fi if you don't have it on Wi-Fi just hope you have it all saved on that six gigs uh, if you have comments or questions let me know rate the video up or down let me know what you think um, I know I'm behind on my reviews but I've been kinda of busy this weekend um, so I'll see what I can get done I have some reviews or some comics read exactly have to make the video. Um, anyways, and that's it for now, so until next time.